Well, I guess we can talk about this uh, topic because we're not blackity black. Our mind is not filled up with the foolishness, the sickness, and the poison of those caught up in the trap of racism. There's only one racist people because they hold power. And of course, that is the uh, Caucasian people of this planet who practice racism. Then you have their offspring, which is these Pan African, the blackity black type folks, and the black and the and the melanin and all this stuff. They are the offspring of the races who want the same thing and act like and want to be like the races. They just don't have any power. They are just as sick. They are just as mentally defunct as the races. not interested in our humanity, interested and obsessed with the supremacy of a skin color. And then the white man looks stupid when some DNA test or whatever show or somebody in the family tell them the bad news your great great grandmama was black. What? I I'm a I don't believe that. I'm pure white. Everything I know about is white. And the same thing with these pro blackity black type folks. Even when they get the test results from their bogus African DNA test, it tells them, well, 20% of you is European. I ain't no European. I'm 100% African. The whole thing, I'm glad that we don't have to go through that nonsense, that stupid stuff. They continue to look stupid when you have to have a blood transfusion to save your life. Well, if you don't take this blood from this white man, you're going to die. That's the only match. I don't like white people. I hate white people. Well, you're going to die without this white blood. I'm sorry, sir. Make up your mind. Do you want to die or do you want this white blood, sir? Nobody, got, nobody has time to be screwing around with your childish acting ass. Because it's all childish, silly, dumb stuff. And we all caught up in that race garbage and most times they're going to take the white blood they're going to take it they don't want to die and the white man who need the black man's blood they're not going to say I don't know I'd rather die than have some nigger, nigger blood they're going to take the blood or the heart or the liver or whatever the hell it is. What brings me to this topic. And I don't advocate. Interracial relationship. In fact it's not, it's not really. It's none of my business. I have a problem. With interracial relationships. Only when you have people. Especially. The ones called. Negro people. Some of them, because of some personal vendetta, uh, some failed relationship, or maybe they feel other black people don't want them, or whatever it is, they get a Caucasian person or an Asian person, whoever, outside 
of us and then they want to try to brag and throw it in your face look what I look what I got it's better look what I got now mind you white husbands kill black wives and abuse black wives and girlfriends white women still scream rape on their husbands and your white spouse pink spouse however you want to say when they get mad most most time it never fails they call you nigger when they get angry that should tell you something but that's better the problem here is people are people and they're going to be foul regardless of their skin color if they are foul. If they are good people, they are going to be good. They're going to be righteous regardless of their skin color. I mean, that's just the reality of it. So to believe you're doing better or you're getting a, something better because and, and then a lot of them think the same thing. I don't like white women. I'm a white man. I'm going to go to black women because white women haven't been treating me good. And then you find a person who is black, a female, and that feeds your delusions. But you could also, just as, just as good, find a black female that will run you into the dirt. Interracial relationships has been going on for who knows how long. Men are attracted to men. Uh, well, I we don't do that either. <laughs> women are attracted to men. Men are attracted to women. And if you, as long as you're a human being, if you're around certain folks long enough, that's gonna happen. That's gonna. It's just that's just nature. Now, it happened way back in ancient times. And we have these things when our, a family or nation have these feuds or religion, I'm a Jew. So you can't go outside of, of us Jews. People divide and separate themselves and this causes a whole lot of crap and people start fighting. Now, you can't mess with my daughter. My daughter is a Jew. You a Muslim. I don't want my daughter messing with no Muslim uh, uh, boy. All kinds of nonsense. This has been happening. All kinds of reasons. Folks been fighting and feuding and over that type of thing. You know, mixing and matching folks. But what I found interesting is through all of this hate we lose our humanity so I'm listening to this story about a Caucasian lady and I think she was in college and she liked the brother it was a brother that she liked not because he was black, because he was a man. Women like men. Men like women. But her family, she brought it up to her family, especially her mother or her parents, and they said, no, no, no. You don't bring that shame. We don't do that here. And so the friendship that she had developed with this black man or this, this soul brother and he developed with this Caucasian lady, that was a no-no. And so she had to let him cut him loose, leave him alone. And of course, if you blackity black or you a member of the KKK or some other racist crap you know, these racist people that's the way it's supposed to be no race mixing that's the way it's supposed to be so 50 years later 
she's an old woman. She's been married. Her children are grown. She's been married. Her husband has died and her mother has died. Father, she's by herself and her children are doing their own thing, whatever. She's lived her life 50 years later. That love or whatever it was in her, she was thinking about this brother. I wonder what he doing after 50 years. And she decided to go on the internet. She decided to try to find him. And she found him. Now she lived the American white woman dream. That's what happened to her in her life. He fell on hard times. And his health also went down. She found him in a nursing home. And he had nobody. Where is his family at? Where is his children? He's just in a nursing home. Basically waiting. Waiting to die. And she found him. She found him. And rekindled. The feeling she had for him. 50 years ago. When she was denied because of her race. Because of this sickness of race in this country. And she found him. In a nursing home. Doing bad. She got him out of the nursing home. And took him home. And she decided to take care of him. Right now. 50 years later. This has to be some kind of, this has to be love. Because the brother is sick. He can't do nothing for her. He, he can't give her no dang a lane. That's what we known for, you know, brothers. Yeah, you know what, oh, you know what I got. <laughs> you know what I got. <laughs> you, you know what I got. He has no money, he has no ding -a -ling. he has nothing to offer her. Why would she go to a nursing home and get somebody sick and take care of them? I had to talk about this story because this is a human story. I don't see skin color. How many of us, not only would we try to find somebody who we used to love, not only will we do that, but they can't do nothing for us. We'll take care of them in their sickness. The brother can't hardly talk. He just lay up in the bed and he know who she is and he, he's out of it. He's, he's gone. Why would, why would she do that? There's nothing she can get out of it except it feeds a love that was denied 50 years ago. So to the love had to be real. It's not about I'm getting a black man because he got a big ding a -ling and and all this and he wasn't after her because she was a white woman. That made me feel better. It, this had to be something real. And I had to talk about this story because through all of this and our talking, racism and all these isms make us so sick, hateful, nasty people. We, we, we forgot and we don't care about our own, our, what, our humanity. Caught up in this sick. Oh, I just had to bring that. Just jot down your comments. Let's talk about it.